Hi. Hi. As you can tell, we're very excited. We're so happy to be here. Actually, yeah, we kind of are. We are. It's, it's, just, it's, it's, it's been a good, you know. It's been a good, it's a been good, a good run. fall. It, it has. You know, for has. obvious reasons. For yeah, I'm going retro. This is retro. This, I think this is more retro. That is more retro. Super retro. Yes. This is at least the, the, the right team. Yours is the right city. So what we're talking about is uh, sports fans, in case you haven't been paying attention, guess who won the World Series in 2015? Long time coming. Long time coming. But, you know, we are just talking before I started rolling the uh, recording. I really think that what we saw from this Royals team over the last two seasons is probably the blueprint that we're going to see for a lot of for, teams for a lot of teams moving forward they're trying to rebuild and that is what i mean by that is a team with no real superstars no I mean, definitive superstars like the, the superstar will change from game to game yeah exactly one game will be look at uh, this look at this taxi cab is halfway in the intersection before the light changes. Dish. Anyhow, yeah, yeah, but no, that's one, why we don't yeah. like cab drivers. No. Anyhow, back to your point. One day it'll be you know Alex Gordon being you know big guy. You, you literally Zobris go, being a big guy. Yes. Hosmer, Moose, Salvi. Uh, you just go around the, pitching that day might be the big guy. Who just knows? Go around the field. Okay, it's pretty much rotating. And, and let's go. Let's start at the pitching. Whoever the pitchers that day could be the hero. Whoever's in right field, even mm -hmm. though you know most of the team on the other team. It's not going to hit the right field. Somehow he's going to be the big guy. Pitcher. Let's go to Salvi at the catcher. Let's go to Hosmer at first. Let's go to Omar Infante or Ben Zobrist mm -hmm. at second. Alcides Escobar at short and Mike Moustakis at third. You could go with, uh, of course, Gordo out at left field. Lorenzo Cain in center. And the right fielder, whether it's Alex Rios or, or Paulo Orlando or Johnny Gomes or... A whomever bunch of other people I mean and the thing with the World Series was you really saw them work as a team the, the 25 members of that World Series roster contribute I, I think the, I think the only one who didn't really contribute still made a headline and that is Raul Ibanez being the first major league player to make his major league debut in the World Series when he was set up to be a pinch hitter Yes, he struck out, but still, you know, he's an amazing prospect, you know, and son of a former major leaguer, so, yeah, that's why he was there. Blood. Yeah, yeah, so, I, I just think that's what you're going to see over the next several years uh, with teams, especially smaller market teams. I think right now the Royals are coming around, and you're going to see them spend a little bit more money, but still, yeah. they were like 14th out of the 30 teams in payroll this year. Uh, or maybe even not even that. Maybe it may have been 60th. I don't even know. But still, yeah, no, the last they will not crack the top 10 in payroll. No, I mean, the, the Astros are, you know, probably going to start using that, you know, blueprint. Yeah. Come through. Well, um, that means the Astros. The Astros gave us a run for our money. Astros didn't win their division. Made made a hell of a run in the division series. You know. And I feel like with this team also is, I don't know, it sounds almost cliche. But if you think about the underdogs, they were not really an underdog per se over the course of the season. But on a game-by-game -game basis... A lot of times, yeah. Back, backs against the wall. I mean... I mean, no, game five. It was a couple <laughs> behind. It was two to zero until the eighth ninth, inning. Yeah. Until we, until we scored one run. Ninth inning, we scored the second run. run. Oh, great. Time, tight game. Tenth inning, nobody scored. Eleventh inning, nobody scored. Twelfth inning. Royals scored five, five in a row. Who hangs five runs on the opponent in extra innings? It just doesn't happen. So, yeah, I'm excited about it because it's been my team since I was younger, since I was a child. I mean, yes, I had a, 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 a long-time fandom of the Milwaukee Brewers as well, but once I left Wisconsin and that team... I just I, I you know didn't have the the deep roots that I did with the Royals, so that that's yeah. yeah. I mean, the whole reason I started cheering for the Royals because that was 
that was the team, that was the games I went to. It was what you mean, exactly. Like, I knew I knew the players. I met the players. Yeah. Or they go to the fan fests. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at the players that you met. You met Alex Gordon. You met, uh, uh, you know, historically, Brian Bannister, John Buck. Yes. Um, Joaquin Soria. You know, good players that are on this championship team. But, I mean, I think the, the real thing here is... I think Ned Yost um, followed what he learned from Bobby Cox and also maybe not maybe he didn't think of it this way but I'm seeing it from an outsider um, almost Herb Brooks with what Herb Brooks did with the 1980 Olympic hockey team he didn't go out and get the best players he got the right players it's it's the chemistry yeah that's what matters and, and you build that chemistry and I mean, you know, between Ned Yost and Dayton Moore, that's what I think what they what they really did. So anyhow, so that's why it's a good autumn, good fall for this guy. Yep. Why is it good for you? Well, well. Oh, no, do tell, Alex. Do tell. Yay! My web series has officially been posted on YouTube. Boom. So, professional actor. And and along with that, what else do you have now? I now have an IMDb page. And no, that's not mean I'm a douchebag. I'm well, a dick, not a douchebag. Well, look snow. I know. But it's snow. In Vegas. Well, not really not in Vegas. Vegas. In, Mount the Charleston. Mountain, in the mountains. Near Vegas. Yes. Anyhow, so congratulations. Yes, thank you. It's, uh... It, it, it's we had a lot of fun filming I'm not gonna lie we were cracking each other up constantly because a lot of the stuff that you'll hear us say like the script was a blueprint we kind of improvised the rest like a lot of the shit you hear me say is really offensive if you don't you know, appreciate you know, bad language and, you know just sarcastic comedy yeah at which point you're probably not watching this so yeah, I was say if you don't like sarcasm and your your bad language, you're probably not gonna no watch this anyway. Yeah. So, so why are we talking to them? Because they're not watching this. Well, maybe, maybe they're gonna share this. Yeah. You know, they're like, yeah, yeah, this guy, this guy's gonna get it big. Yeah. This guy. Actually, so it could. As part of that, you got your internet movie database listing on there. Yes. So I tried to add some stuff. The, the height got officially added. Right. The other stuff, added the other stuff hasn't happened yet. And, and it was funny. So I submit his date of birth. And it was like explanation. And I was like, I'm his father. I was there. I cut the umbilical cord. I saw it happen. And 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 uh, that was that was rejected. They, they wanted some, you know, internet proof. Really? Because if it's on the internet, it's true. If I say it, yes, I, I, I had to list no, we had to list my website, which I haven't updated for. <laughs> you need to do that. Yeah, I need, I need to uh, spend more time now. Especially now. Yeah. Especially now. Yeah. Yeah. Def, 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 definitely. Def, now. Def, definitely. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. actually the driver. Well, I mean, if you guys want to see the web, my uh, website, it's alexkirsting.com. No, A L E X K E R S T I N G dot com. Maybe we should put a link on YouTube. Can I we think, do that? I think I do have a link okay. on my on uh, my YouTube account. Oh, oh, on your YouTube account. Yes. Whatever. Even though I haven't posted anything on my YouTube account for a while, but yeah. I've been busy. You know. Well, filming, working full time, filming full a new time. series, school full time. Yeah, I have. Whatever. I have no social life. So just so you know, the web series it's uh, real life. It is. It is your social life. Yeah. So is it the real life, or is it just it's, fantasy? It's this real life. I see what you did there. You see what I did there? Yeah. It's this you real just, life. You didn't. You didn't. Yeah, I know. Follow that. No, I know. There's time for Bohemian Rhapsody, and there's time to you know. Okay. Caught on a web. No escape from reality. I'm just a poor boy <laughs> from a poor family. <laughs> yes, you are actually. Yeah. Oh. Now, um, going back to the web series. Yes. Uh, we're going to start filming episode two, hopefully later this month, so we can post it 
you know, in December. But we're going to need some funds from a bunch of other people because we're trying to film in the Riviera. For those of you who don't know the Riviera, it was used in Casino, Leaving Las Vegas. Pretty sure it was used in The Hangover, too. Yeah. Definitely used in Austin Powers. Yeah, it was used in The Hangover because that's where they uh, that's where they did the... Uh, card counting? The card counting. Yes, it was. Well, by the way, the Riviera is now closed, so you can't just go in there and film. You have to yes. get permission from their new owners and have the power turned on to do that. So it's and a challenge. It's going to cost us a lot of money. So we are trying... We have a GoFundMe account. I will post the link on our fan page on Facebook so you guys can, you know... Maybe yep. maybe if any amount helps, I mean, if you donate, it's you know automatic producer credit. So you know you could get your IMDb page too. Boom! There you go. Something you can put in your resume. You go film producer. You're welcome. I'm trying to help you out. You help me out. I help you. What if your mom and I joined donated jointly? Would we have to have a shared credit? No, you guys would get your own separate thing. Really? Like it, it would specifically say you know Jay Kirsten. What would say Kathleen? Oh, Kathy? Whatever, Kat. whatever she wants to put on, honestly. Alex's mom. I mean, the the way uh, Darlene, uh, the director, head writer, basically main producer, is uh, doing it. Like, any donation you get means you're going to have, you can, you can have a role in the show. So whether that is cast or crew or, I mean, no matter what, you're probably going to get producer credit. Really? Yes. I could have a role in your show. You could. You can play a douche. I'd like so. to maybe, you know, extend my horizons a little bit. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not. No, you're not I'm a not. douche. You're a dick. A douche. I am kind of a dick. But think about it. Now that's, that's an excellent question. So we get ready to probably close this up in a couple minutes here. Yeah. So if I was to play a role in your series... What what would you have me be? Honestly, you'd probably be um, a bad guy. Not the bad guy, just like um, because my character works security for the Riviera. So I could be a drunk and disorderly. You, you, there's a homeless character. You could play the homeless guy. I don't I don't know if she has a cast yet. I don't know if she's even auditioned for it yet. But that's a possibility. You could also just be in you know, the background, be an extra. I don't want to be a background. I've, been, I've already been an extra. <laughs> that's true. You can see, you know. And for about I've already, I've already, this length of time in yeah, Major League. Yeah, you really can't see me. <laughs> well, but first of all, if you did see me, you wouldn't recognize me because I was, uh, well, 18. Well, 17, 18, depending on what night, because I went like a couple different nights. Yeah. But anyhow, yeah. one of those was when my birthday changed at midnight. Ah. Yeah. 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 So you yeah. Went, went, went from 7 to 18. 17, 18. 17, yeah. 18. Yeah. No, no, de 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 definitely, definitely 17, no, 18. Yeah. Numerical order. Yeah. I want this line. I want this line over here. Anyhow, so I'm just trying to figure out where, what would you. I but Because I'm not writing this, this series, I mean, she's asked me to, you know. Help with other stuff? Help with other stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, get you know some of the costumes for us. Um, she's offered to, to, you know, let me write. Don't know if that's going to officially happen yet. She's written pretty much most of it already. So, or she has ideas for the rest of it. So I don't want to, you know, impede her ideas with mine. I mean, so half the, half the time when we were filming anyway, a lot of the stuff in the script goes out the window. So who knows? So, so the homeless guy. Yes. Okay. Could it be like. I don't know how to fuck this. You could be the homeless guy from UHF. Yes, that's where I was going to go. Change. Change. Change, 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 mister. Change. Wow, a penny. Change. Change, mister. I mean. You sit by a blind guy fixing a Rubik's Cube. That's no. It. Yeah, deja vu when, you know, I was blind with a Rubik's Cube. Yeah. So, I mean, my, my I don't have a haircut right now. I mean, I kind of need one, so I could. Uh, I mean, it almost it, would be pretty easy. I mean, we're not. We're not. I mean, we're filming one episode a month, so it would take time anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing with being uh, low budget. I mean, we're not trying to 
you know, you know like super like super like extreme we're not spending like you know we're not we're not doing like fifteen thousand dollars an episode like a yeah. lot of the other series lot of, any any pretty much any other show is gonna be like above that yeah i don't i don't know what our budget is honestly i just know that you're it's, not privy to that information i just know it's a really funny series we're trying I mean, we're we're laughing at it i hope you guys laugh at it we'll post a link to it you know once we post this video another post will be right there for you okay we should wrap this one up. Well, I mean, we're just kind of sitting here, so I mean, if you really want to see us, just sit. I'm waiting to pump gas. Is that a euphemism? In this case, it's not. It really isn't. But it could be. It could be. You're welcome, America. Come to the camera. Now, because we could possibly have people who are watching this in. New Jersey or Oregon. Let me explain about pumping gas. See, here in the other 48 states, we have what's called self service. Okay. As opposed to full service. See, that predates you. No, did no. you know that in New Jersey you cannot pump your own gas? I didn't realize that. Yeah. No. So when I was in New Jersey five years ago, I'm out of the car. To Oh, yeah, I can't. They have to pump it for me. I don't know why that is, but it's just the way it is. Very, um... And 50s. Oregon Oregon does it also. I've yeah. never been to Oregon, so I don't know. Yeah, I just right. know that they do that. So Maybe it's the hipster thing. Well, it could be. I but don't know. I mean, I have nothing against hipsters. Sometimes they're really cool. Sometimes they're douchebags. I don't judge. I don't judge their appearance. I judge by their attitude. Yeah. I do, too. <laughs> and I'm now that I have a job where I deal with the public a lot more. Um, it's it's interesting, you know. Yeah. It really is. Um, you know, I, years ago, I'm not exaggerating when I'm dealing with those people. No, I mean years ago when I worked in retail, I learned early on you do not judge a person by anything <clears throat> other than how they act, because I this this. Uh, this really tough, rough-looking biker dude come into a computer store, and I saw nobody go up and help him. So I walk up to him and help him, and he's like, yeah, I need your help. I need, here's what I need. This was back in, like, 1992. Before and, my time. Uh, yeah, way before your time. I wasn't even in your balls yet. No, no. Um, I, don't, I don't know how that, how that yeah. part works, but, you know, yeah, possibly. I don't, know. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyhow, um, the guy ended up being, as it turns out, he was a CPA who got out of the accounting business working for a major firm and bought, I can't remember if he owned it outright or if he just was a partner in a motorcycle dealership. And since this was in um, Wisconsin, you can pretty much guess what brand it was. Starts with an H. Anyhow, guy spent like eighteen thousand dollars with me, oh, shit. and people are like, "What?" And now I wished I worked on commission. Well, yeah, but everybody's like, "Why did you spend that time with the guy?" I'm like, because he bought you know three or four computers and this and that and this and that and all this networking stuff. And everybody's like, "I'm like, don't judge." No, that's true. There's a there's a book. I forget if it's Blink or if it's Outliers by Malcolm Blake. Gladwell. Yeah, but he. But Blake, Blake actually talks about how sometimes your first your first instinct is wrong. Is, is it sometimes your first instinct is spot on, and you start thinking about it too much, and you go so far wrong. Other times, it is so far wrong. I mean, it's it's a fascinating book. I mean, I liked. Yeah. I read I read it. Uh, I had this to read past it, summer. Yeah, I had to read it for uh, so, uh, senior year of high school for my English class, but. One of the chapters was uh, like one of the stories. Like, there's a used car or car dealership that you know this salesman and you know, this guy came in, looked homeless. Like people didn't really approach him. This guy was like, oh, "I was gonna see what he wants. Maybe he just wants food or something." Goes up, yeah, hey, can I help you with anything? It's like, yeah, I need to buy three cars. We'll step this way. You never know who somebody is. Exactly. Like, a lot of the rich people 
they aren't going to dress in, you know, Tom Ford suits. They're going to dress how they want to dress. I remember there was a movie, a Michael J. Fox movie. He plays a concierge. I want to say... Michael J. Fox and Gabriel Anwar, I believe, were in it. And he was a... I can't remember the name of the movie now. But, you know, he's trying to pitch this idea to somebody who, you know... And he accidentally sends the stuff to somebody. I'm ruining the plot here. But it ends up being the guy that he accidentally sent the stuff to ends up being his benefactor. And it was like, and he thought this guy was a nobody. And he wasn't. He was somebody. But the way he carried himself, you never know. And that's exactly. what I, I just. No, it's, it's, it's like, you know, like, it's how, so how do you true. picture Jesus? I picture Jesus, you know, in the like, tuxedo you know, t shirts. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you know, this is a classy. So, wow, we're we're wow. Wow, well, we're going on like twenty-one minutes. I know. Here, so. so, I will say this: Jesus will not will not spite us for this. No, hopefully not. I mean, we're near a gas station, so because, if it does, he's going to get a lot of because other people. If you look at who Jesus hung around with, you know, you know, he got a sense of humor. He's got that sense. I mean, you look at the people when he was, you know, here on earth, who he hung around with, he, he got sense of humor. Yeah. He, he just has to. Now, this is not this is not me getting into some kind of religious dogma here, but... I, I won't get into Just think about it. No. I, mean, we, I don't think... That's one of the times we will never talk. We'll never kind of talk about, you know, no. religion. No. Not, not like, you know, try to convert people just because... I think you and I should believe like why would I force someone why, why would I try to convince someone to believe something I believe no the only, I don't thing, the only thing I will try to ever convince somebody of is that um, ignorance is the biggest thing hurting society and there's a lot and, of evidence and, for that and the shame of that is ignorance is Correctable. It can yeah. be fixed. It's true. You can't fix stupid, but you can fix ignorance. The tools to fix it are out there. Anyhow. Yeah. The other thing I'll try to convince you of is that worlds are awesome. Well, no, sure. no, I don't have to convince you of that. That's yeah. that's <laughs> that's a given. Now. That's a given. Now, I mean, no, I will convince people that. Um, baseball is not boring. If you find baseball boring or you find soccer boring, it is because you do not understand the sport. If you think football is exciting, football has moments of excitement. And that's about 10 seconds. And that's and it's, 30, a, it's, 30 it's 30 seconds of commercials. Exactly. It's Control. 10 seconds. Stop. Wait, 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 wait. Ten seconds more. Wait, wait. That, that's my whole point. Anyhow, we're at the pump now. I'm Jay. He's Alex. You know our stuff you've been watching for a while. But if you've forgotten, at A-L-E-X-K-E-R-S-T-I-N-G-104 on Twitter. Yeah, I'm going to go pump. You can take care of the rest. Yeah, sure. Okay. That just, that sounds like, no, so I'm not, I'm, yeah. Anyway, yeah. You can find him on Twitter. You can find both of us on Facebook. Uh, again, you know, go Royals. Please like the fan page. He's in the background trying to mess with me right now, isn't he? Yeah. I, I can see him in the fucking camera, dude. You can't slam me because I said the F word. Now, again, please like, um, please Stop like our page yet. on Facebook. No, not no, yet. No, not yet. Okay, I'm going to pay for the gas now. I live with that guy. Did you stop it now? No. You're still going? Okay. Yeah, I'm still going. I live with this guy. I came out of that guy, and then I came out of my mom. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. You still going? Yes, I am. Okay. Anyway, I, I have a feeling he's going to keep bugging me, so I feel like I should end this right now. But, again, you know, like our page on Facebook, like my page on Facebook. Please check out the web series. It's called Stripped, dollar sign, T-R-I-P-P-E-D. I know, dollar sign really like it's a little too much like Kesha, but it's funny. Please check it out. And if you want to contribute to the I show, I need to get the trash go. out of here, okay? All right. I don't know how that looks. 
but the trash is right here in the cup holder. I don't know where I don't know where you saw his hand. It was down here in the cup holder. I don't know, but he like reached across getting, me super low. I'm getting trash in the back seat now too. All right, well. <sighs> All right, bye. <laughs>